I got a, bro, you need to focus on the game. Bro, you're getting distracted. Bro, don't let this nigga distract you. And I took it like a champ each time. Mm. And that's mm. what happened until Vino left. And here I am focused on the game. But then when it comes to this relationship, now the energy is like, let them have it. Mm. 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 That was how a bonding session turned into a moment of truth, a moment of self-realization, a moment of sharing and expressions of perceptions, um, beliefs, sharing of vital information, and almost went south with the baby in Zam. This is in three housemates, guys. To be honest, I thoroughly enjoyed the conversation that these housemates had last night yes and kudos to terry to libo and to Mpua Badimo that thought of the idea of you know calling together the remaining seven housemates so that they could talk so that they could bond because i mean it's been the usual routine of the house after the arena games everybody goes to drink sleep eat do whatever those who have lovers in the house they go and smooch and cuddle under the sheets and that is the end of it all and then the next day they, they repeat the same routine again the weekend gets wild and then from monday or even from sunday night nomination fever comes up or eviction trauma comes up as well and you know it's all a roller coaster week in week out day in day out and you know that's constant awareness and consciousness that oh my god i'm playing a game if i'm not putting up my guard something's gonna happen you know so the idea basically was for all of them the top 10 to come together and get to know one another all right because according to them after this weekend they don't know what to expect next and i felt like that was a great idea and it worked out really fine however as i said before it almost went south because <laughs> the bonding session started with gashwan and tato's relationship apparently it seemed as though um the remaining other eight housemates they are fully invested in what is going on between Gashwan and Tato. And so the strings of questions that kept on turning up were bombarded in, in, towards those two people, or towards Gashwan specifically. Besides that, Terry used that opportunity as well to vent her frustrations. And guys, it will shock you what Terry's frustrations really are. And then there was a conversation between Libo and Mpo. Guys, it was a whole lot, a truckload of conversations. And I'm going to be spilling the tea of all of that on this particular episode of Frankly Speaking with Yuri Elijah. But before I continue, let me first of all welcome all of you back to my YouTube YouTube channel my name is glory elijah this is frankly speaking with glory i am the girl with the tea i always hold this cup on this hand yes and um ignore this patch you're seeing this was me trying to make my tea and then i spilled the tea on my on my sleeve so ignore it and also aside all of that as well do not forget today is saturday you know what happens over here on this channel we usually have our fswg saturday youtube live stream and today is no different we're going to be having a very very amazing conversation with an ex bb in zam this is a three housemate talking about Ntabi with a double i mm -hmm. so um it's happening today 3 p.m wat or 4 p.m cat so whichever part of the world you are please do not fail to join us don't forget to put it down in your schedules if you have questions for Ntabi, all right if you have questions for Ntabi, what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna put this what i'm saying right now on my community tab on that post on my community tab go ahead and drop your questions for Ntabi in the comment section below that said let's just quickly get into the video oh so, the bonding session started with questions directed like bullets at Gashwan. And guys, <laughs> it will interest you to know that most of the questions came from Terry. So the housemates had a rule, right? They were going to ask two questions each. But then Terry decided to overblow it by asking Gashwan, I think, almost five questions or even eight questions. Yeah. So she was very much interested in knowing how Gashwan and Tatua started off when exactly they had started dating um how he knew that he wanted to be with tato and when exactly he caught feelings for tato when terry was asking those questions three things came to mind one it was very obvious that not only terry but the rest of the housemates they were really interested in knowing if gashwan was playing a game or using tato as a strategy 
to stay through to the finals and possibly win the show. Because guys, these housemates, they've watched Big Brother Niger and they know that for every season, love always works. Not necessarily winning, but love always works. You will see that those housemates who have a strong relationship, most of the time, they get through to the finals or possibly the week before the finals. So in their minds, they already concluded that, okay, it's not possible that this guy that has suddenly villainized himself, you know, presented himself to be the villain of the season, very, very calculating, conniving, and, you know, competitive, would all of a sudden turn to a lover man with Tato of all people, you know? So Terry asked that question based on that, in my opinion, number one. And then number two, that was also the part where I mean, Tato is not the first girl that Gashwan had made a move on in the house. Terry was actually the first person that Gashwan had shown interest to or was attracted to in the house. Yes, he had said wanted to have a conversation with Terry. Guys, I don't know if it was genuine or it was all part of his strategy to find a romantic relationship in the house to enhance his game to the end because Gashwan was that first housemate that was really keen on having a relationship in that house. Yes, from week one. And so that conversation never happened because I think according to Gashwan, there were things he saw in Terry that did not really sit well with him. Probably because Terry is very, very loud and assertive and opinionated and Gashwan does not want a woman that is that way. He wants a woman that can be a bit submissive and also be herself around him. So that conversation never happened. And then there was Yoli, yes, which was a bit obvious, but not really loud and clear and wide, like what Gashwan has with Tato now. And then finally now, there's Tato. And you know, from time to time, there's literally two subliminal advances at Upuwabadimo. So the rest of the housemates, they wanted to know. And then the third reason I feel Terry was asking these questions is because, now guys, if you recall, when Vine was in the house and having all those things with Terry, they were not expressing their romance in public. They were not expressing, when I say public, I mean during the day in the house. Their romance was basically restricted to the night time. Yes, so it was basically only their fellow roommates in the room upstairs that were fully aware of what was going on between these two people. So somehow, Terry was feeling cheated. Yeah, I mean, I saw all the online bashings on Terry last night and I felt like it was unfair. Yeah, I felt like it was unfair that people would bash Terry that way, you know, ignoring all the red flags, you know, around the entire situation. Terry felt cheated because when she and Vino started, there were a lot of tongues wagging. Yes, there were a lot of people talking, saying things. There were the gossips here and there. It was very, very obvious. And so Terry and Vino, they had resolved to, you know, keep their relationship off the faces of the rest of the housemates, like respect the space of the rest of the housemates. And then at night, they can go ahead in on, on their bed, you know, and express their affections to one another in their own way, which they did. But now it's now Gashwan and Tato having a thing, and it seems like people are just okay with both of them expressing their affections to one another in the open, and people are not really complaining about it. It seems like people are enjoying it, as a matter of fact. It seems like the rest of the housemates they are okay with it. So Terry felt cheated, and so basically she was asking those questions in my opinion for those three reasons and i like the way gashon answered all the questions he gave specific dates according to him he and tato they are officially a couple from um for six days now they've been dating officially for six days i mean i was just like hmm, okay oh you did not remember to mention that last week immediately after yoli was evicted from the house you people started you know going at each other all of a sudden but we'll just act like we don't even know what's going on and so after that much probing into the Tato and Gashwan's relationship, um, the housemates proceeded to the other rituals of the bonding session by asking multiple questions to one housemate at a time, you know, which um, ended up allowing some of them to blow off steam, not in a wild way, but really, really um, revealing their true perceptions about one another, about what they think about their fellow housemates. And then as they proceeded, <laughs> Libo and Impulse can of worms just sort of came out and it almost created an awkward situation for all the other housemates because they were feigning ignorance of not really knowing what happened between Mpo and Libo and how their relationship went south. And I love the fact that Mpo was able to point it out to them that, listen guys, stop playing dumb. You all knew what was going on. So let's call a spade a spade. I mean, guys, that moment was spot on for me. And so it turns out that 
<laughs> Libo is still kind of pressed that a certain image or picture was painted of him. Yes, that he was, you know, a rapist. Just as um, whatever Gershon had said had kind of influenced Mpo's thought. That was actually more like the genesis of the problems they were having. And although Libo had actually addressed it with Gershon, they had made peace, yes, but it seems as though he and Mpo, they've not really come to an agreement or they've not really come to a resolution yet on how to resolve that matter and so thankfully after the whole bonding session both of them they had a lengthy conversation and they got to understand each other Nibo was able to explain himself that listen i did not say this i did not do this i did not do that you know and then they had resolved to take baby steps towards mending their relationship and you know finding their way back to that friendship that they had before but then the question is is it gonna work <laughs> because we know Mpo, we know Libo we know these two people these two people their relationship has gone south and I don't think it's gonna find its way back to the center but I don't know go ahead let me know your own thoughts in the comment section below now moving on to Terry's venting spree we'll Libo came to my defense her. this week Destiny. because he, that's why he even said in the chat you know how to dish it out but you don't know how to take it she this thing was talking up. a lot of shit about me and vinyl the whole time I was explaining earlier about the reasons Terry was fully invested and asking multiple questions to Gashwan about his relationship and affections towards um, Tato now Terry is genuinely upset and offended that these housemates they were buying face according to Norman's language they were buying face she felt she felt like the housemates they cheated herself and vinyl from fully experiencing their relationship the way they wanted to they were so into each other they wanted to be public they wanted to you know engage in a lot of PDAs but they could not really do as much as they wanted because of the rude stares because of the scrutinies because of the whispers because of the gossips because of the judgment yes guys i mean it was very very glaring it was obvious she also made reference to the things that bu and venus had she said look at how it went i mean there were gossips from all over the place you know a lot of people were not okay with bu and venus's relationship so it was very very uncomfortable for venus um bu was villainated you know it was just a bundle of problems for every single person who had a relationship at that point in time that look at alibo and Mpo, their relationship as well was not really smooth not because of their personal issues but also because of the scrutiny and judgment from the rest of the housemates and then she said now Tatu and Gashwan, they are having their relationship and it seems like everybody is watching a movie, everybody is feigning ignorance of the fact that these people are going to be protecting themselves from the rest of the housemates in the game. These people are going to be helping each other not to get nominated. That this was something that the other couples in the house they had, but the housemates, they took it away from them with their perception and their negativity. But now Gashwan and Tato, they're having it all rosy, you know. So she was just very, very offended. She was upset about the whole thing. It's like they're seeming to be exempt from the same treatment that the no, three relationships got. Even as much as I could relate with Terry's venting 100%, I felt like Tools had a point, not 100%, but he had a point that, listen, that um, Gashwan and Tato's relationship seems rosy because they are now lesser in number. Okay, from my perspective, they're getting it the worst. Mm. And not every relationship got it. There was a lot going on in the house. It was more loud. It was louder. Yeah, now it's less loud. Remember, in the earliest weeks, we, there were 19, there were 17, 16, 15, and so on and so forth. Yeah, so um, whatever Vino and Terry were doing, blah, 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 housemates were seeing those things, yes, but it wasn't really obvious, you know. But then now they are reduced and Gashon and Tato seems very very conspicuous so guys in as much as it made little sense I still felt like nah it did not really make a lot of sense like that because if if, if tools is positing that argument then it would only mean that the housemate should not even really be bothered you know as at the time they were more in the house because other people were busy with their own business so why should they be bothered about um, Terry and Vino or BU and Venus but it seems to be a problem at that point in time anyways the conversation went on and on and on until they all decided to go to bed and they would have a proper conversation about it today but let's see how it goes guys and I'll see you guys on another episode of frankly speaking with glory Elijah I'll also see you guys 3 p.m. today don't miss out. Have an amazing weekend. Bye.